Hello, we are here at the sixth international encounter for tradition of old school culinary here in Valencia. And today I would like to share with you a study very interesting that it's called uh, N Dai No Ho. This N comes from circle and this Dai corresponds to the kanji of Fuchi, that means the inside or the, or the interior side. Then uh, this method, No Ho, the method of, uh, is the method of uh, performing circles by the inside. This method was explained, was taught by uh, Ogawa's grandfather, K or Isasi, because he has two names, uh, Ogawa. And uh, this method could be applied in several conditions. Uh, it could be also with uh, tanto against tanto, and it could be applied the tanto against the, uh, the katana. And today we will be performing with bokuto and also with uh, the hands free of weapons in several, uh, in several circumstances. Then today the idea is to perform an explanation concerning how this method could be applied, also employing techniques that will be uh, uh, involving uh, body combat. Then in the first thing we will be applying on tanto, remember that for the season, the season used to hold the tanto in manners, in ways that it could be also hidden from the enemy. Then in this case we could be hiding on these positions or in this position trying to, uh, to, uh, to keep the attention of the enemy in my body and not uh, offering any, uh, not, uh, not offering the enemy to expect that I am having, uh, I, I am uh, having a blade, I am holding a blade, then the uh, surprise effect it will be uh, higher. Then in this case, when the enemy is trying to attack me, what I will do is defending. I will do like that, and from here I have the conditions to enter. I could cut stabbing. That it's a very particular cutting the face and stabbing in order to also reach the eyes and vulnerable areas in order to surprise. After that, I could enter here and maybe I could apply, for example, like here, a Kanyo Toshi, like that. After that, of course, I could enter, I could pass stabbing on the neck in the vulnerable areas of the arteries that you could find on the neck, in the inside, in order to have the femoral, and of course, having here, I could enter on the armpit in order to find the heart and the arteries that you could be close to this point. Many sequences on this method could be applied concerning this, this idea. The idea, as I am explaining, for example, if he performs any other movement, for example, like here, I could be stabbing. And right now, what I will do is at the same time I'm stabbing, I am going here and I could go to the outside in order to grab here and stab on the armpit. Remember, always cutting, going for the ear, like that. And of course, from here, we could go down, like that. We could hold here in order to have this powerful, of course, if my, if my calf enters and my body goes back, it could cause, uh, uh, it could cause not only pain, but also a fracture on the elbow. And of course, we could reach here the armpit. We could go here and stab in different points in order to perform this technique. In the case that we will be dealing against a katana, of course, remember that the my the distance, it will be different. The goal of the Kenshi, the one, the, the Solomon, it will be to keep me far from the point that I could reach his body. Because if I go, for example, if he enters, he attacks me, and I am getting to this point very easy, it could be a failure on his, on his attack. Then the idea is also to keep, to maintain the distance, to maintain the Kamai, in order that I could then reach him. Then when he performs, the idea here is to be like when I am offering the attack, I have conditions maybe to enter here in order to cut the inside of the knee. As you can see, this will cause, of course, an important pain because we are uh, 
uh, we are cutting here the tendons that link to the, to, the, to the knee and this will cause an important unbalance of the body. After that, of course, I need to control like that this cool take away, take away the, uh, the uh, take off the, uh, the wrist here. I could pierce here in order that we call neck that the that the, the the katana goes and of course that we need to go up I could be passing cutting after I pass I have the access into the into the cheek in order to pierce here and of course after that I could bring my tanto in the inside of the armpit here cutting the tendons that link to the biceps especially and from here of course I could perform a throw here that I could enter in order to go in this position I have of course sorry I have this lock here and I could pierce in the other side of the armpit remember that this was the armpit that it has been cut on the tendons and I could access depending on how he's protect here at the same time I am performing this powerful uh, arm block to the shoulder then this is the case when we are dealing with special shink, uh, in this case uh, bokudo against katana but mainly for example if we are dealing with free hands that it's also a very characteristical side when we are for example against an attacker that could attack me I will be protecting like here at the same time I enter here I will enter imagine that he is trying to block me my attack then please block me and I am maybe in a stagnized situation but uh, it doesn't matter because this method uh, this method correspond to these ideas in this case I have conditions to turn here in order to perform circles entering and having conditions to go in circles by the inside in order to reach this point in order to tear the nose, tear the eyes, tear the air here we could also strike my elbow the strongest things it could enter like that and of course when we are here I will change my position now that you could see this idea from here we have gone by the inside this strike is very powerful moreover when we are uh, pulling here in order to make the traction we could enter we could grab here on the throat and of course when I could enter like that take a look how the arm it's place the arm we have the elbow here offer and I will of course break here my uh, my foot my heel could step on the face the knee and of course we could wrap here on the on the on the chin in order to perform this powerful block here etc this is the case when we are dealing on uh, free hands against the enemy that it's also on free hands but imagine that could uh, be also performed against an enemy that is holding a tumble or any kind of uh, of club for example when he enters my main problem here is to be escaping from this because we are dealing with a, a striking weapon and of course the first point is to avoid to isolate this striking weapon then for example when we are we could enter here that my elbow being the in the extension of the arm here at the same time I am I am performing this of course this will cause uh, an important fracture on the elbow here after that we have the conditions here to enter take a look how my armpit it's grabbing it's holding here the, the tumble and of course at the same time remember the elbow is fractured I could make a circular movement in order to control of course take a look on my left here how I could be like that also striking with his own tumble here and of course I could hold like that and take a look because here I could perform any kind of gun security also like that it's also very powerful and of course as we have been studying 
in several other uh, videos, for example, on Mokuri side, we could hold here in order to smash the bicep, to smash the forearm, we could place my calf here in order to go down. It's also very powerful and if we turn like that, I could also press with my palm on the, on the, on the chin here and it's a shoulder lock here that it's very powerful. Take a look how the shoulder is being uh, broken like that. This is when I am applying against a tambo, uh, a, a one, an enemy that is holding and attacking me with the tambo. But I could, in this method, I could also be the one that is having the tambo. And it's also very important to perform uh, precisely the, the circles in order to uh, defend against an attacker that could be without weapons. Then in this case, when we are dealing, I could be striking, remember, like the idea with the tambo is to be pretty strike. I have here, I could make this movement and of course I could also hold like that and from here I could perform any kind of movement that we could imagine that falls, for example, like here, I could from like that. If I continue, so, sorry, if I continue for not causing pain like that, we are uh, coming into a similar, a very uh, like uh, lock that we have performed, but of course we could pass to this side, we could also enter, we could choke here, but it's also very powerful, and of course that we could also perform any other kind of controls. Take a look that here it's control the elbow, here we are, I am choking, moreover I am performing an extension on the neck, some neck crank, like that, and we have a very uncomfortable situation, and from here we could go to in order to continue breaking, not only with the tumble, but also with this method, several uh, areas of the body. Then, as we have been explaining here, uh, the, this end eye, no hole, in order to summarize, we will see that this method is the idea of performing circles by the inside in order to defend against any kind of attack, any kind of circumstance that we have been uh, explaining here. Of course, this is a principle, this is a, uh, it's the basics, the fundamentals, in order to understand the, uh, the most characteristical side of this method that is called Endainojo. I hope that you have enjoyed, please keep uh, watching our channel because we will be updating with uh, many more videos and explanations that we are uh, having here on the International Encounter on 2015. Thank you very much and see you all next time.